Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Here to do a vendor wax haul. This will focus on what I got from Teddy B's in the ready to ship. That was, what was it? Was it late November or early December? I can't quite remember. It did sit at the forwarder for a little while before I got to send it out. So I feel like everyone's had their ready to ship from Teddy B's for quite some time. Now I finally have mine. Uh, I did get quite a bit. I just can't resist Teddy B's. Sorry, my computer was making me look blue and now it's not um yeah I just love the wax there's some sense that I got that I just knew I did I placed this order before my pre-order arrived so I couldn't like get stuff that I knew that I loved but I got a f repeats of things that sounded really good to me just on the description and that I felt like I didn't buy enough of and then I got some new stuff as well Potent particularly I went in for quite a few scents that weren't in the pre-order. There was one I missed. There was like a Pacific Northwest Winter that sounded really good. Um, I also missed Hot Pie. So the ready to ships are very fast paced and stressful. They are not the sort of thing you want to go in on if you just want to be able to shop and take your time. You need to just go in and expect to lose things. So um, if you're not, if you're kind of not in the mindset that you might lose some stuff, then I recommend not going in because it could be an upsetting experience. Um, I don't mind that and I have been um, online shopping trained through a lifetime of, not a lifetime, but a long time purchasing indie nail polish um, and black milk clothing and you need to be a super ninja or at least you used to back in the early days, you needed to be a super ninja to get those things. So um, I can move pretty quickly. Um, I lost two, so I I think I got this all in one order. I can't remember if I got one order if I can, or I combined, um, but I only lost two things, the, the uh, hot pie and the Pacific Northwest scent. So, um, yeah, pretty big haul. So let's get stuck into it. One sample, the lid, I think is, no, the lid's not cracked as the label's coming off. So the sample, I don't know what the scent notes are because this wasn't a scent that I think I was all that interested in, but it's called The Clean. It's not terrible though, like it is a very clean scent and it does have a honey-ish kind of vibe. It's very clean but very perfume-like as well. Like I feel like this is quite a pretty sort of perfume scent. It's not something I would like, yeah, go out of my way for, but it's, it's pretty. I'll do the tubs first. So I got four tubs. Um, one scent is a repeat. Of something I have and I love and everything else is new so I might just move them here for a moment so the repeat one which I'm still going to even though I've got the tub I'm still going to request and try and get this in the next pre-order St. Valentine so this is pink sugar Earl Grey tea balsam fur and sweet vanilla cream this if you watch my top 20 cents of you know 2020 this one is one of my absolute favorites like I am so obsessed with this scent. I'm a big fan of tree-like scents. I should show what it looks like, sorry. So that's that. And then, because it is quite warm, that the wax is quite soft. Um, like, I love the tree notes. The, the pink sugar and the Earl Grey tea, the way they blend together, it's just an amazing, it's kind of cozy, but you know, not your typical cozy scent. Like it's just so, so unique and lovely. So, and it throws really well. So I have one piece left, I think in the tub that I already had. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to have more of this. I might actually be able to, cause it's a tub and this one's cracked. I might actually be able to take the label from the other tub. And, I mean, sorry, the, the lid and put it on. Oh, no, it doesn't have a lid. Damn it. Anyway. Scratch that up you. Anyway, love some Valentine. Highly recommend it. Um, I think the list for the pre-order for Teddy Bees is going up, uh, like, not sorry, the list, the polls. So the suggestion post and then the polls. If you haven't done a Teddy Bees pre-order before, there's like a, there's a whole cycle to them. So if, and you have to be in the Facebook group to participate, unfortunately, for those of you who are not. But, um, they put up first she puts up a post for you for everyone to make suggestions on what scents they want and specifically this pre-order she's asking for people to go back over the sense that you know the underrated things the underdogs the ones that you know they maybe forgot about or you know those scents that 
you love but maybe not everybody's raving about because you do find with teddy bees sometimes things certain scents get repeated and it like yes they're usually it's usually for a reason they're usually well loved but sometimes it'll be something that just not many people bought the first time around but it's actually amazing there's just not enough people that have it to know about it so um yeah so she's asking people to go through their stashes and sort of figure out what those should be so that will be a fun pre-order if she can pour some of that stuff that that sleeper stuff that would be really cool i think um i'm not sure how i got onto that chain of thought but anyway um so St. Valentine is one I will, would highly recommend if you were intrigued voting for it and getting it up um, into the list because it is amazing. Okay, so after that ramble, Coronation. So this is Palo Santo Frosted Birthday Cake and Marshmallow Clouds. So this one, look, a little bit sceptical. Um, I love her Palo Santo blends. Like, I've purchased nearly all of them, but um, I don't love the birthday cake oil. That Teddy Bees uses. I don't love many birthday cake oils, so it's that's not just a comment on like Teddy Bees, but um, hers in particular does give me kind of a bit of a plasticky tone. But I love her Palo, so I kind of hope that that would just like overcome any other problems. Okay. Yeah, I like this. It's just a creamy, sweet part, um, Palo Bakery. And the birthday cake smells good here. So, yeah, I really like that. I, I just, her Palo is so beautiful and delicious and creamy. It just goes so well with pretty much anything. It is just the best Palo around. Um, I only know, I think, one other vendor that has one that's pretty much the same, and I'm not going to talk about that now. But, um, yeah, Tiff's Palo is the best. Um, so that smells really good. Midnight Rosewood. Uh, so this is Tonka Bean Rosewood Black, Ambles tea, Black Amber Tea Petals Cedar. This one I think I almost left off the list. In fact, I think it wasn't on my original list. But then um, when I didn't get Pacific Northwest... No, I think I did throw it in in the end. I was going to say I thought I threw it in instead of Pacific Northwest. But I don't think I went back in. I could be wrong. Okay, this is really pretty. Really pretty. It kind of starts off... It does start off in a... girly floral place, but then... the You get this kick of cedar, like there's like a darkness to it. I guess that's the midnight to the rosewood. As you keep smelling it, there is a kind of perfumey amber tone to it. So I'm hoping it doesn't come over too, because there is just a slightly, just that kind of perfume spray scent to it, which I'm hoping doesn't overtake too much. Because when I first start smelling this, it's amazing, and then there's just a little edge to it like I'm, that I'm not sure about, but it's, it is very pretty and very complex. So I am looking forward to melting that one. Okay. Uh vintage so this one is cypress and fern needles plum fig leaf cinnamon cedar with hints of smoldering woods that i haven't been talking about the cure date the poor dates i think they're all november yeah november 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 yeah everything was poured around the same couple of dates in mid-november it looks like and that's from, this is of the new, the stuff that she poured for the restock. The other stuff will have been poured before that. Okay. This one is almost leather-like. It's not though. But it's the way that the spices and the woods and the smouldering woods are coming together. It gives it a leather feel. I definitely can see why it's called vintage. Yeah, there's this kind. There's just this way that the cinnamon and the woods and the smouldering woods. I think I'm repeating myself, but basically, it gives a leather impression. It's not bad. Like it's it's a tree-like leather scent in a way, but it's not leather. I don't know if that's a good description or not, but 
Like, I don't think that, I think if you don't like leather scents, you could still get on board with this because it doesn't have that really intense kind of, <sighs> leather can just be very, I don't know if intoxicating is the right word, but it's overwhelming sometimes. Um, it doesn't have that quality, but to me it does remind me very much of like a dry sort of leather-esque scent. I don't know. I'm not describing that well. I like it. I don't know if it's like going to be a crazy love, but I do like it. All right, so now into the souffles. So the first one I have here is a vanilla cream and sweet bread. So this one I didn't get last time. So this is warm sweet bread, granulated sugar, vanilla milk, and sweet cream. This is one I nearly left off the list as well because it just sounded a bit basic. But sometimes those basic scents are the best, and sometimes they're just basic. <laughs> so um, this was one that, again, it wasn't on my original list, but I just threw it in because... I was very irresponsible that day. Um, I don't know if it's worth me popping things out today. No, I'm not going to. Oh, this is good. But I really want to pop it out because I always get a better sense of the smell on the bottom. But no. It's really nice. This is really good. It's exactly what it's described as. It is a warm, sweet bread. There is a slight kind of warm, sweet, milky tone, but it's not like a sugar milk or anything. It's vanilla-like. This is really good. I'm really glad I did throw this one in. This one smells delicious. Uh, next up is one I do already have, so Godswoods. Um, so this is Palo Santo Birchwood Pine and Vanilla Balsam. I got this one in a tub, so I do have a bit of it. Um, it is a really nice scent. In the end, I feel like I miscalculated a bit. So there's three, basically three scents in this pre-order, which they are quite similar because they all have... Um, uh, vanilla balsam and palo santo in them. They have different things, but at their heart, they are palo, palo vanilla balsam scents. Um, this one, the North and House of Dragons, so all of these Game of Thrones scents. Uh, this one is the most, obviously, because it's got like three tree scents in it, it's the most tree-like one, and specifically, it's the most vanilla balsam-like of the three. It's a really beautiful tree-like blend, but definitely the vanilla balsam is much stronger than the birchwood or the pine. Or the palo. Like, it's a wood-enhanced vanilla balsam. So it's really, really lovely. Um, and I am perfectly happy to have this and the tub. Um, but if I had been able to smell them before, um, I would have gotten... A different one in with the most quantity so the one that I would have if I could have flipped things around and had a tub and a souffle of anything it would have been this one it would have been the north uh, so the north is vanilla balsam type palo santo marshmallow fireside and a hint of smoldering firewood so this one it's the hint of smoldering firewood to me that I feel like really makes this one special she has a great smoldering firewood oil I think it's been in a few blends I think it was in that Miss Pour of Khaleesi, and it is very smouldering. Um, yeah, I'm really struggling with popping them out tonight because it's just so warm, and I'm also trying not to drop wax all over the ground. But like I said, I feel like I smell things better on the bottom. But then I've already smelled this before, so it's kind of a waste. Anyway, yeah, so this one, the vanilla balsam is definitely not nearly as prominent as in Godswoods. This one, because it's got the marshmallow fireside as well, the north is much more about that that smoky wood. So, and I feel like that kind of brings the palo out in it more as well, because the palo just really um, blends well and enhances that smoky wood scent. So yes, God's wood, great. The north is just amazing. Okay. Um, Anthony's Cabin. So this one is... Birch leaves, citrus peel, pine cones, white florals, vetiver, sandalwood, and wood. So this one, I've had a chunk bag for a while. I skipped over this one in a few pre-orders. Um, not because I don't love it, because I do. I really do love it. But I just don't melt through it very fast. 
And I couldn't even tell you why. I think the only reason I can come up with is because it smells very much like silver, silver birch and vetiver. Um, it's that sort of birchy vetiver scent, which I love, but it smells very similar in every blend that it's in. So, and I have other blends with that oil. So I guess I just was like, it's not different enough for me to be melting all the time. But I do love the way that she's blended with pine cones and citrus. So it smells amazing and I feel like I just need to melt it more. So I got just a souffle to top up what I have. Um, and I just need to embrace melting this a bit more because I do love it. But I, yeah, I just, yeah, I still feel like it is a bit similar to those other scents that I, like anything with that silver birch and vetiver oil. Just to me, it's, it's always very similar. Okay. Lavender Bonfire. So I haven't tried this one before. This one is Sweet Lavender Cashmere Bonfires Toasted Marshmallow and a Hint of Vanilla Balsam. I didn't get this one the first time around because of the Sweet Lavender because I do not like Teddy Wee Sweet Lavender. Um, I know a lot of people do, but I'm not your classic lavender fan and hers just smells weird to me. Um, but I do love like Cashmere Bonfire type scents and the Vanilla Balsam I think in the end kind of pushed me over the edge so it's got uh, like black glitter on the back yeah I don't think I'm <laughs> no this was a gamble that did not pay off I can't smell vanilla balsam I'm smelling her lavender really strongly so if you like her lavender you'd be massively into this But not for me. I don't know what it is about her lavender. It just smells really soapy and just no, not that. Not that one is not for me. So I don't know. Sometimes I like to take a gamble on these scents that I, you know, feel like I might not like because occasionally they surprise me. But that one, no surprises, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not even, I will pull it out, but Snow Queen, um, so Marshmallow Fireside, Warm Vanilla Sugar Sugar Spruce. I think I was talking about this in the comments with someone. I think what really turns this for me is the Sugared Spruce. I've had Sugared Spruce in, all, I've only ever had it before in a custom from K. I I know, a gamble, right, using an oil that I haven't smelled. Um, and... While I don't mind that custom, I did it with Palo Santo and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. It definitely has like a tone to it that I wasn't expecting. It is a very sweet, but not, I don't know, it's a sweet but weird tone. And I can totally see how it would blend weird. So in that custom blend of mine, it's okay. But here I feel it just really just turns this into something super sickly sweet and somehow soapy and stomach turning. I know some people really love this one, so please don't just take my word for this. Like, But maybe if you haven't been a fan of sugared spruce, then this one might not be for you. I don't know. But yeah, that one, I just know. It. And this one, that one, um, like smelling it cold, I'm like, yeah, it's, so, it's not great, but it's okay. I really, it was so much worse warmed up. Like, so that, yeah. Anyway, um, but incredibly strong, like so, one of the strongest scents I've ever, ever had from Teddy Bees. I feel like that's always the way when you have a scent that really just doesn't work for you, it always ends up being like powerhouse strong. Evangeline. So this is Mossy Oak Trees, Wild Poppies, Citrus, Sandalwood, Southern Breezes, and Warm Amber. I keep going to miss that Warm Amber part. I think this one was poured for the Ready to Ship as well. I don't think that this one was in the pre-order. Um, no, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this one out. This is nice. It definitely smells familiar. I'm sure I recognize some, like at least one of the oils in here, but I couldn't place it. I like this. It's a little bit... Um, it almost, it's almost like if you took her fresh summer woods and you blended more wood in it and citrus. It's kind of got this really pretty warm sandalwood citrus thing going on in it. 
the mossy oak tree note is really nice. The more I smell it, the more it develops. It's really complex. It's really nice. Very summery, this one. Like, poured in November. I might try and melt this pretty soon. Because this one just smells like a perfect summer woody scent. Mmm, it's really pretty. The more I smell that, the more I'm really like, ooh. And, you know, I feel like I could, like, I'm not always into woody scents in summer, but I feel like I could really melt that one and enjoy it. House of Dragons. So this is Palo Santo Vanilla Balsam, Fallen Leaves, Peppermint, and a Hint of Cinnamon. So this is another one of the ones that I have got and have tried, and I do really enjoy this one. Um, I think that if I had to rank those, so I just, I automatically group House of Dragons, uh, God's Woods, and um, the North together because they're all Palo Santo Vanilla Balsam. Like, even though they are different scents, to me, they just automatically all fit together in the same group. Um, if I had to rank them, I would say the North was my favourite, uh, House of Dragons was my second favourite, and then Godwoods, which was not what I was expecting when I ordered them, but there you go. This one, the warmth from that cinnamon, um, and the touch of peppermint, it doesn't smell pepperminty, but just the cinnamon and the peppermint together just kind of brings it alive, you know? And the leaves is a really nice touch in that one too. So I do enjoy this one. I will say, so I think the last time I melted those scents, I melted them all together, like in different rooms of the house, to compare them. Next time I will have to melt them separately, I think, so I can sort of appreciate them on their own a bit more. Okay. It's Fall Yol. So this is Marshmallow Fireside, Sweet Cinnamon, Orange Zest, Leaves, Brown Sugar and Vanilla. I don't know. I mean... I don't know if any of the notes really kind of like super appeal, but I think it was still pretty drizzly and cold here when this order went up, and I was like, that sounds pretty good. Whereas now it's, you know, very, very summery, and I'm like, why did I want that one? It's nice though. Mmm, really nice. Because it's really brown sugary to start with. Like just warm and sweet. But then as you smell it, you start to get a little bit more cinnamon. The orange zest is subtle, I think I was, and I'm glad for that. I was not wanting this to be a really orangey scent. I'm getting a good dose of like the smokiness from the marshmallow fireside. And just the touch of leaves. I feel like the more I smell this, the more I like it. Starts in a very brown sugar place, but just builds. So I, I really like that. That's really nice. We'll enjoy that in a few months' time. For sure. Uh, four more to do. So I've got sugared cider. This one is old-fashioned sugar cookies, a hint of cinnamon and sugar and cider donuts. Um, hmm. I'm immediately conflicted on this one. My nose was like, ooh, I like that. Ooh, it's kind of a sour cider though, but ooh, I like it. <laughs> um, it smells like a quite an authentic cider, I'd say. In, it's got that kind of real, I don't know. I'm still going back and forth. So I haven't even been able to register the other notes yet because I'm still debating whether it's a cider I like or not. Because it smells like cider, but it does smell a bit like... I don't know, like just... Sometimes there's certain alcohol scents and it smells like... You know, when it smells like when someone... Like when you smell the alcohol on someone, not the drink itself. I know that sounds really unpleasant. And it's not that bad. No, I'm not even going to say that. This smells like there's... So there are certain ciders out there that smell like this. They're very alcoholic smelling. They smell more like an alcohol than a, an apple. But you can still smell the apple. I think I like the top, interestingly, 
the bottom of this is giving me really, really strong cider. It's weird that I'm talking about that and it's cider donuts, but to me it smells like, on the bottom it smells like straight up alcohol heavy cider. The top is giving me more, I don't know if I'd say sugar cookies, but more sugar. So sugared cider is a good name in a way, because the top I smell sugar and I smell cider. I don't really smell much else. I don't know with this one. Like, there's part of my brain that's telling me that I really like it and that it's actually kind of triggering some nostalgic kind of things for me. But then there's part of my brain that's, I think it's triggering both good and bad nostalgic. I think that's the problem. But I think I, I think I'll unbalance, I like it, but we'll see. The Night Before Christmas, I have no idea why I chose this one. Uh, flannel sheets, which hit or miss for me. Warm cashmere, hit or miss for me. Vanilla and blended with scented Christmas trees. I think it was just because people were raving about this one. And again, it may have been quite cold. Kind of coming up to Christmas and still cold. <laughs> so I may have just been like, oh yes please. Um, the, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, the, the flannel just... That flannel sheets oil, it hurts my head. It gives me a headache. And it's very strong. It's very masculine to me. I know a lot of people love it. It's like a cozy kind of scent for them, but it's not really for me. I don't know. I'd have to try it. I think I was hoping the Christmas trees would come out more. I think I was hoping for a real Christmas tree vibe. I'm not really getting that. I'm mostly getting flannel and I think a bit of cashmere and vanilla. So. Uh, maybe when on a cold winter's night, I will appreciate that one for what it is. But right now, it's, yeah. White woods and bonfires. So this is white wood, cashmere, soft woods, vanilla, and bonfire bliss. So I did get this one. I haven't melted it yet. I think I do like it, but I don't know if I'm like crazy in love with it. Um, I just find I think I love the bonfire bliss oil. I don't know if it's how Teddy Bee's um, How Tiff blends it or just the oil, but I find it's not super strong. I would like more Bonfire Bliss from the Bonfire Bliss blends. Yeah, it's I, I can barely smell Bonfire Bliss in here. It smells nice. Sorry, I would like to pop it out. It's very cashmere-like. Yeah, it's very soft and cashmere-ish, I think. I think this one I will get a bit of sense of from the bottom. Yeah. I can smell more of the Bonfire Bliss on the bottom of this one. I just always think I get a better sense of the scent from the bottom. Yeah, so I get more of the woods in the Bonfire Bliss. It definitely smells better on the bottom. On the top, it's very soft, cashmere, slightly woodsy. So I like what I smell on the bottom. The top, not so much. Um, but I haven't. Like I said, I haven't melted the one I have yet, so I'm still not 100% sure. And then the last scent is a vanilla pumpkin sugar cookies. So this is a blend of our signature sugar cookies, pumpkin pie spice and vanilla cream. So I have avoided this one because pumpkin pie spice, not my thing. But I do love their signature sugar cookie scent. And I just heard some descriptions of this being like one of the creamiest, pumpkin-y, amazing scents ever. And I've been really on a kind of creamy like creamy scent kick lately so um, or at least I was when I ordered so I went why not and you know sometimes a pumpkin scent can really surprise me and this is really good it I don't get that really abrasive pumpkin pie spice scent that I don't like I smell cookies and a warm pumpkin. It's not like a really overly sweet pumpkin either. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, the sugar cookies and the vanilla cream and just a delicious warm pumpkin. Yeah, very good. Glad that I listened to the people on this one and not my own instincts because I never would have got it otherwise. Uh, that's it. That's everything that I got. Um... So, yeah, very, very pleased with the order. If I had to pick favourites, vanilla pumpkin sugar cookie smells amazing. Um, it's fall, y'all's pretty good. 
obviously House of Dragons and um, the North are favourites. Evangeline was really lovely. Like, uh, uh, the vanilla cream and sweet bread was lovely. St. Valentine, I always love that. Um, and I think maybe Midnight Rose, which, yeah, lots of favourites, lots of really good stuff. Um, so that's it for that video. Um, I will do the ebony violet one maybe tomorrow and then I'll probably do all of the super tarts in one go. So that will probably be one big video. Uh, so I hope you're all doing really well. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.